Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today at Top Reddit Post, we're gonna be taking a look at Entitled Parents Lose at Walmart. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so, hit that notifications button, and leave us a like and a comment in the end of this video. EM leaves son at Walmart and is mad she can't find him when she comes back a day later. The LDR at the end. So I used to work at Walmart in late 2016 and it was the worst job there is. Once I had to work the night shift and just walk around the store and make sure no one needs help. Sounds okay, right? This woman walks in and goes to the toy area and after 20 minutes I see the kid alone and I honestly didn't care. So I just went around the store again because it's not my responsibility to be in charge of her kid. 5 hours passes by and it's around 6 am and I'm just sitting and I see a drunk woman come in and ask me where her child was. Where's my child? You fed him, right? What child? You retard, I left my child in the toy section at night. Please be respectful, I'll bring my manager. What is the problem here? EP explains everything. Oh, I saw the kid a few hours ago. It's not a reliability to care for your kid when he's here. You retarded monkey. I was out with my boyfriend. Where, where's my kid? Without him, I won't get money from the government. All right, I have called police. Please wait. Police come and I explain everything while she's screaming at everyone. All right, I have notified the station, but we'll have to arrest him. Later, they found the kid and his mom was sent to jail and lost custody. TLDR, EP leaves child at Walmart overnight and is mad when she can't find him and lose custody over him. Edit. The kid was found under a tree at least a few miles away from the Walmart. I don't know what happened after. Hey guys, I'm just going to tell you, and I know you probably already know, don't just leave your kid unsupervised in any store. And it's not just because I believe you would think that the store is responsible to take care of your kid, but you never know the people that even hang out on those stores. Entitled parent want me fired from my job and arrested because I wouldn't buy her entitled kid an expensive toy. So I'll admit that I work at Walmart. I know you're probably thinking my credibility is thrown right out the window, but just hear me out. While the job itself is quite soul crushing, it does have its perks. One perk is that I get a discount at any store across the country, using a little discount card the company gave me. While this particular incident didn't happen at the Walmart I work at, it still makes me angry to this day. This happened around late November to early December. I had the weekend off of work, so I decided to visit my parents. While my parents were out, I decided to go to a local Walmart and see what I could buy. After I got my things, I went to the self-checkout area where I bought my things, using my discount card. All of a sudden, EP, Entitled Parent, and EB, Entitled Brat, come up to me. Excuse me, young man, can I use your card for a second? Huh? I want to use your card for my son. Keep in mind, the toy, I don't remember what exactly it was, was quite expensive. I think it was around 80 bucks, but I wasn't quite sure. Uh, no, you can't use my card. But I want to use it. You do realize that my card doesn't buy the thing you're purchasing. It just gives you a discount. You still have to buy it. I know. I want you to buy the toy for my son. And using that, you can buy it for him. No, I can't. I don't have that much money on me. You're very rude. Buy this toy for him now. No, I'm not going to do that. I hate your generation. Always so rude and unforgiving. What's your name? I don't have to give you that information to you, ma'am. Yes, you do. I want your name so I can have you fired from this establishment. I don't work here, ma'am. Where do you work? I don't have to give you that information. At this point, EP is steaming mad and EB is screaming, crying and trashing around the floor. Many other people are looking at EP and EB in disgust. Which Walmart do you work at? I want you fired. I'm not telling you that, so please get out of my way. I will not move. I'll have you arrested for not listening to me. 
My brother's a police officer. What will he arrest me for again? He'll arrest you for being rude to me and for stealing. Yes, if he was really that dumb and unreasonable. What did I steal? I was getting quite irritated. My son's toy. You refused to buy it. So, using your logic, since I didn't buy your brat that toy, it's automatically stealing? What is wrong with you? At this point, one of the cell checkout workers must have called for a CSM, Customer Service Manager, because I see a CSM and an ASM, Assistant Store Manager, coming my direction. What seems to be the problem here? This punk tried to steal from your store. This lady won't let me leave because I wouldn't buy her son a toy. He works at another Walmart, tell me which one. The ASM looks at her in utter confusion. We don't have that information, ma'am. This is unacceptable! Kick this punk out! I explain the situation to the CSM and the ASM. Okay, that makes sense. We had problems with this lady in the past. You're free to go. Thank you. Why is he leaving? This is unacceptable! Why won't he arrested and fired? I've never been back to that Walmart ever since. Guys, I need to ask you all this. Have you ever had some crazy person coming up to you and pulling something like that? I had someone ask me to buy something for them that was quite expensive, but not trying to get me arrested for not doing so. A brief encounter at Walmart. I have to admit that when I first started reading this, I thought it was odd that so many people had encountered these insane folks. Then, I went to Walmart yesterday. I don't know why I go there. Most of the time, I can't find what I want. The clientele are all a bit odd too. But I went with my teenage granddaughter for something to do. I was on my way to the yarn aisle when some angry shouting made me turn my head. That was my first mistake. I made eye contact with the beast. It was a woman in her 30s screaming shouting at her two kids who were hiding in the basket of her car because they're too big for the kitty seat thing. Then this woman saw me look over while she was screaming and got even angrier. She asked me in this naughtiest, loudest voice if she could help me. I just frowned at her and started to continue my quest. Then she started screaming at me for daring to judge the way she disciplinated her child. I hadn't said a word to her before this, but when she continued to yell at me, I got angry. I told her to piss off and then went down the aisle I was heading for. Oh boy, here she comes at full speed. She started screeching that I used the profanity in front of her kids. Then she tried to hit me with her cart. I grabbed the cart to stop it and leaned into her face and told her to screw off. Yes, I used the F dash 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 word in front of kids. The kids' heads didn't explode, by the way. The kids just giggled. Still, I shouldn't have done that. This sent her into the screaming memes and she began to frantically wave her arms and yell for help. Yes, this healthy 30-something needed to be saved from a skinny, 68-year-old woman who weighed about 50 pounds less than she did. I even have the gray hair to complete the cliché. It was actually amusing to watch because she left her kids with me to run screaming for help. I looked down at her kids and shrugged. They shrugged back. They're obviously used to this. I was lucky that a worker had seen the whole thing and was in his way to defuse the situation. I'll do some what slowly. I couldn't blame him. She started shouting to him that she wanted me thrown out of the store for using profanities in front of her kids. Then the worker asked if he should call a manager. I said that seeing a manager seemed like a really great idea. At this, she grabbed her cart and sprinted away while still shouting. The worker and I just stood there blinking at each other as her shouting got further and further away. And that was it. This all happened in less than 3 minutes. It was kind of a letdown actually. Nobody threw me out of the store, I didn't see the woman again, nothing more happened. I didn't even have to explain anything because it had been witnessed by the worker. 
Well, I did see my granddaughter walk by earlier when the lady was in mid freak out. I asked her why she didn't stop and she just said that it looked like I had it under control. Shish. Thanks for all the help, darling granddaughter. But it did serve me to make me believe in these stories more. There be some nutty peoples out there in the world. Oh, and they didn't have the yarn I wanted. Hell. Hey guys, if you're entitled parents, leave at least the old lady alone. Walmart mom thinks store's inventory is there to entertain her kids and she's entitled to free stuff for me being rude. I worked at Walmart for a short time as a cashier. I usually work the cigarette counter, which for the Walmart I worked at, meant I had a lot of room behind the register to hold things people decided not to get. Now, I'm an extremely polite person and don't like inconveniencing people, so I have no problem keeping things behind the register and usually have a couple of shopping baskets back there just to contain the items. It wasn't unusual for someone to come through my line and not get cigarettes if the other lines are super long. Anyway, I have this woman come through with her three kids who are probably about 8, 5 and 2. They each have a toy in their hands and are playing with them, so I ask for the toys when I finish ringing up everything else. The two older kids give me the toys no problem, and as I am in the middle of scanning them, the EM says she's not buying the toys and just grab them to keep her kids entertained while she shops. I think it's incredibly rude of her and that she should have thought about bringing their own toys. But again, I am extremely polite, so I take the toys off the purchase and put them with the other returns. I stand at the register for a second waiting for the two-year-old to hand over the toy he was holding, which is also clearly from the store because it's one of the toys that come in a box but has an open side so the toy can be interacted with. The EM looks annoyed and asks what her total is. I politely asked if she was planning on buying the toy her son was holding, and she said no. I asked for the toy and she says she'll give it to the greeter. I know the greeters and they'll assume she paid for the toy and let her leave with it. I politely asked her that I need the toy back, and it hits the fan. She starts yelling at me that I am being incredibly rude and accuse me of being racist, which I don't understand as I am white, she's white, and all three of her children are also white. Then, when she could tell that I was going to budge, there's no way I'm getting in trouble for this woman. She tells the toddler that I don't think he deserves the toy and rips it from his hands and slams it in the counter, causing him to scream bloody murder and breaking the toy in the process. I put the code into the register for a supervisor to come over and help me because I am new and I know this EM is going to get even worse when I tell her she has to pay for the now broken toy. My supervisor immediately comes over ignoring the other cashiers who need help and asks what the problem is. The EM bullface lies to my supervisor. Your cashier is being extremely rude and I wanted to get toys for my kids for behaving so well. She said that they weren't behaved enough and refused to ring up the toys. To make matters worse, she ripped the toy from my son's hand and now it's broken. The supervisor looks at me and I'm speechless. The EM, con the EM keeps going. The service I have received here is appalling, and unless I receive all three toys free of charge, I will be contacting the manager. My supervisor doesn't even need my side of the story at this point seeing what type of person that woman is. That isn't our policy, ma'am. You need to pay for the broken toy and any other toy you decide to get. As for the manager, he's not here at the moment, but I have no problem giving you his contact information. The EM sees she's not going to get what she wants and tries to pay for her groceries without me adding the toy, but because I hadn't yet totaled the register out, she can't actually pay. My supervisor reminds her she has to pay for the toy she broke. The EM says she will do no such thing and threatens to leave with her cart full of groceries, which her oldest child had been filling up in the time between hand me the toy she was holding to the current moment. My supervisor informs the EM that if she did that, store security would stop her and the police would be called for her shoplifting. 
This is ignored and the EM attempts to leave the store when she is stopped by the asset protection team, who is being told about the woman like 20 minutes earlier. The police are called and the EM is arrested. However, she is able to call her husband to come get the kids. I wasn't there for it, but apparently when he came to get the kids, he was super annoyed and said, that stuff again, Suzanne, before leaving with the kids. So clearly, that wasn't the first time she tried to pull that stuff and probably won't be the last time. Well, guys, I just have to say, when you guys go shopping in Walmart, you probably know what you're gonna expect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button, give us a like and a comment. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend if I don't see you. But tomorrow we're gonna have more top Reddit posts, so I'll probably see you tomorrow.